Hi, I'm Rick, and I'd like to welcome you to iScan by Autoland. Advanced safety features means advanced sensor monitoring. In today's video, we cover active wheel speed sensor testing. Active wheel speed sensors utilize magnetoresistive element sensor technology to detect speed, direction of movement, and even standstill on a single wheel. The sensor monitors an encoder or phonic wheel using two magnetoresistive elements alongside internal circuitry to interpret the data and sends a signal to the traction control or brake control module. This signal can be used to determine if a single wheel is stationary, moving forward, or reverse. You may need this test if you have a fault code for erratic or no wheel speed from a specific wheel. Let's connect to our subject vehicle, a 2021 Volvo XC60, and see what a real-world signal looks like. This is a two-wire sensor. You'll want to connect to each wire when testing. Connect the back probe and the test lead from channel 1 of your lab scope to terminal 1. Connect the back probe and the test lead from channel 2 of your lab scope to terminal 2. Connect your scope ground to battery negative. Set your scope to DC coupling with a voltage scale of 15 volts. And I've set the lower limit on my scope to negative 1 volt DC. Turn the key on with the engine off. Lift and support the vehicle safely. The signal can ride on the positive or the ground supply to the sensor. While monitoring both signals, rotate the wheel. Take note of which channel has the signal. With our subject vehicle, channel 1 has the signal, the positive voltage side of the circuit. Now I'm going to zoom in to get a better look. Adjusting my voltage scale lower limit to 10 volts DC. Now we can better view the signal which resembles a teardrop. The change in voltage is small. Normally I see the voltage change about 0.1 volt to 1 volt DC. This will be specific to the vehicle you're working on. My subject vehicle is a 2021 Volvo XC60. With the wheel stationary, we see a small drop occur in the positive voltage side of the circuit. Rotate the wheel for the sensor you are monitoring. The signal now begins to repeat itself and frequency increases with speed. This is a good signal. If you have a good signal at the sensor but your scan tool does not display it correctly, test the sensor signal directly at the control module. The wiring from the sensor to the module may be faulty. If you lack a signal at the sensor but have good positive and negative voltage, the encoder or phonic wheel may be damaged or installed incorrectly. For example, a wheel bearing that has been installed backwards where the phonic wheel is part of the bearing assembly. With the sensor removed, simply move a pocket screwdriver magnet across the tip of the sensor. Expect to see the same signal when the wheel was rotated. Do not use a magnet larger than your pocket screwdriver. Sensor damage will occur. Remember, it's easy to get a two-wire wheel speed sensor mixed up. Some models use a variable reluctance sensor rather than a magneto-resistive element sensor. Variable reluctance sensors will produce a square wave. Resistance of the two sensors will differ. I hope you enjoyed this video on active wheel speed sensor testing. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.